What's up guys, welcome back to a new Dying Light 2 video. Before we get into the video, I would appreciate it if you subscribe as we're trying to get to 10k by Dying Light 2's release. If not, that's fine, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video. This one is going to be geared towards people who are actually more interested in this story. We're going to be looking at specifically here the Japanese gameplay we saw come out. Could be wrong, but I do believe it is Japanese. There was a lot of rumors going around about this possibly being last gen gameplay. This is actually PC gameplay, as you can see in the title, it does say PC gameplay. List of that, this is probably one of the most valuable pieces of gameplay we have seen. I mean, this is about the purest raw gameplay you're going to see of Dying Light 2. And some of the textures definitely look unfinished. Take that as you will, the game is still in development. Besides all of those details, getting into more of the story details I was talking about earlier. Specifically revolving around a character named Aitor. Now the only scene we actually see with Aitor is with Aiden as he's talking talking to him about being a PK spy. I'll show you to you here. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. So there's a couple things he says in here. First of all, he makes it clear that the survivors, Sophie and Barney, are getting suspicious about their activity as a spy. So Rue Aiden is actually working as a PK spy. We also have another scene where Sophie and Barney seem to figure out that Aiden is a PK spy. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me. Why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? Because we can help each other. Who killed Luke? So it definitely seems like those scenes correlate with each other. And as of right now, this mysterious character, Aitor, seems to be some sort of high-ranking Peacekeeper member. Most likely still ranking under Matt, but I would say he's pretty high-ranking if he's making these type of calls. Now, if we want to break down exactly what Aitor actually says, he mentions something about Aiden actually finding the Lazarus for him. And I had no idea what a Lazarus was. I, I still don't fully know what it is. The only thing I could find on a Lazarus is possibly being a person who was brought back to life or resurrected. And this story basically comes from the Bible, I believe, of Jesus actually resurrecting somebody. So it's a bit unclear, could this possibly be Aitor referring to somebody being resurrected in Dying Light 2? It seems a bit far-fetched, but as far as I could see on the internet, Lazarus or Lazarus, it has no other meaning. And the way Aitor uses the word, he uses it as a noun. So he's describing some person or thing, and as far as I could see, there's no thing that's called Lazarus. So the only other option I found was this Bible term of someone being resurrected. Maybe this could directly relate to the end of the Sophie and Barney scene where Aiden talks about Lucas dying. We don't really know who Lucas is at this point, I don't believe. Maybe this could relate to him being resurrected or somebody else being resurrected. This is pretty dubious speculation here, but I think it definitely is worth being brought up. Simply because the term Lazarus doesn't just get thrown around every day, it's not a common word to use. It is really interesting to go in depth on this gameplay though just because Barney and Sophie seem to be the clear, clear top runners of the survivors. We haven't seen Juan come into play yet. We saw another guy named Herman, the big strong dude who Aiden actually gets into a fight with. He's friends with Sophie as well, possibly being a survivor. So this whole gameplay seems to be showing off Aiden as a PK spy actually spying on the survivors, which I thought was pretty interesting and I thought I would bring that up to you guys as well as just the fact that this is probably the most raw gameplay we're ever going to see until release. I mean, if I haven't showed some of these shots already, I mean, we see shots from very far distances, actually showing off a lot of the lower textured surfaces around the map. And remember, this is PC gameplay, so PS4, I mean, how is this going to be looking on last gen? It's a question to ask. I'm not going to try to beat that down your throats because we all know we need last gen gameplay to see what this can do. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the video. If you liked, go ahead and drop a like for me. If you want more Dying Light 2 videos in the future, drop a sub. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.